Hey there guys, welcome to another SimRail video. Uh, the developers for SimRail have released essentially a new locomotive for free. Uh, this is still in early access, essentially, but they have been, uh, they've been patching the heck and heck out of this game. Non-stop patches. At least one to two every week. Uh, and, and increasing a lot of things, making things look better, uh, better performance, things of that nature. It still is early access, so they'll probably be doing that for quite a while. But they have given us a new uh, and free locomotive. This here is the EP-08, uh, which is essentially like the uh, the 07, which is the one that's already in the game. It does look fairly similar, as you can tell here. But uh, the EP-08 was built uh, off of the EU-07, essentially, and it was, of course, an electric locomotive for the PKP, which is the National Railway for Poland. Uh, they built these between 1972 and 1976, uh, and the gearing was changed, which was one of the big deals with this thing. Uh, the gearing was actually changed from 79 and 18 to 77 and 24. Uh, now, they were essentially supposed to go 100 mile an hour uh, for, for standard working, but uh, something happened. They performed a little poorly at that speed, so they dropped it down a bit to an 87 mile an hour working, and that's, of course, roughly comparing it to what kilometers per hour is. Uh, but they built 15 of these things, and they were the first locos in Poland to exceed 125 kmh or 78 mile an hour. Uh, they had four English electric 541C or Gs, although I think these had the G variant. Uh, and they were labeled uh, EC in the game. So when you go into the game and you're looking through your uh, multiplayer menu and all that good stuff, you're going to want to look for EC. Um, and then there will be a picture of this exact... Uh, I'm going to call it Orange Sherbert. It's a very, uh, very nice-looking uh, color to this thing, but there's not a whole lot that's different. But in the game, and as far as the timetable, it is is a new locomotive I believe it does add new services or will swap them out with the uh, the regular um, green ones or, or uh, what are the other ones that have the uh, the fancy like race car looking livery I don't remember but a few things that are different notably I think the mirrors as you'll see on the both sides are different I feel like the 07s had uh, kind of like the flip out mirrors I'll have to take a look at that and uh, double check. But everything else, I think, is largely the same. But uh, I've got it on autopilot right now. But these, of course, can go quicker. So they can do a working of 140 kmh, when you can see down here. And while you're in one of the green ones, or the 07s, they're going to go a little bit slower. So I think you're going to have a working of about 120 kmh. So, uh, so that's what's pretty neat about that. But all in all... Uh, this thing is largely the same. It's still a very cool locomotive. Probably one of my favorite to operate in SimRail right now. And uh, they're going to be bringing us a lot more stuff. And it's just nice that they added essentially a free locomotive. While, yes, it looks sim similar to the 07, it is new and it is free. Whereas some other companies in rail sim genre might charge you 15 bucks for something like that. Which, you know you want to pay for that kind of stuff it's up to you but uh, anyway we'll take a look at the menu and see where you can find this thing alrighty so if you want to operate one of these things you are still going to have to get into multiplayer even though it's not really multiplayer again this isn't uh, this isn't Call of Duty or anything like that I know some people are kind of put off by multiplayer I'm not a big fan myself I don't really play stuff like that but don't let that put you off about SimRail. It's it's totally different. Once you do it once or twice, it's like riding a bike or putting on a pair of pants. You know, it's it's nothing crazy. But uh, you're just going to want to pick one of your um, servers in here. So I'm going to look for something that's got less drivers because it's new. So people are going to be wanting to play it, right? This one's got three. We'll click on driver. And you're going to want to look for EC. So there we go. These are EC. That is the type of service. Um, we got some more down here. Ah, and there you go. Et voila. And uh, there you go. So it'll show the actual picture of the one because there are three variants. And I think we looked at those. So there's the cargo. Uh, there's the, uh, the tangerine cream, as I'll eloquently call it. And uh, 
That's that's the fancy race car one. It's not showing the uh, the standard green one for some reason. Those might be called something else. All the EIPs are the uh, the high speed service. But uh, it's just something nice that uh, the SimRail developers added for free to the game. It still is in early access. Just wanted to let you guys know in case you weren't aware. New locomotive, just something to add a pop of color uh, to your runs in SimRail. But that's it, guys. See you next time. Take care.